Full face tracking in VRChat is finally legally possible thanks to the OSC update that was just pushed, and in this video I'll show you how to try it out. So there's two components involved in full facial tracking, one being the eye trackers and the other being the mouth tracker. To get the eye tracking, you pretty much need a Vive Pro Eye, and specifically a Vive Pro Eye, not a Pro 1 or Pro 2. But for face tracking, you can mount the Vive facial tracker on just about any headset as long as you can get the signal back to your computer. So, starting with mouth tracking, since that's the easiest for anyone to add on, the most important thing is to get the positioning of the tracker right. Vive's dataset isn't too advanced, so you have to have the cameras pointing directly at your mouth without any additional angle to get the best results. For the Pro Eye, it works right out of the box, but for the Index, you'll want a 3D printed mount, or at least a good bit of tape to get it into a good position. Now if you're on a Quest linked to a computer, it's doable, but definitely a lot trickier, and while I personally haven't tried it, there are a few videos out there showing the process. Now for eye tracking. Unfortunately, there aren't really any viable standalone modules that you can just put into any headset, so the only real option is the Vive Pro Eye, though the Vario Aero also has some basic eye tracking. Now, compared to other big VR headsets, the Vive's microphone and headphones are terrible, but the comfort's comparable to the Index, and the screens are OLED, so at least it's not a downgrade. On to setting things up, you'll first need to download Serenipal version 1.3.1.1. This is an older version of Vive's face tracking software, but it runs about twice as efficiently as the newest release, and I'll be linking it in the description along with the mirror, so you don't need to register with Vive for a developer account to get to it. But once you get that installed, head over to the VRC face tracking GitHub page and download the newest release. This is what'll sync your face movements to the avatar's parameters via OSC, and what you'll need to have open before you launch VRChat. Now, since the VRChat devs pushed the update without fixing some known bugs, you'll need to make sure you press P in the VRC face tracking window to pause your tracking before you switch in any avatar. And then unpause it afterwards, otherwise things will all start to freeze up. Then you just join a world with face tracked avatars, enable OSC in your handheld menu, pause your face, switch into the avatar, unpause it, and you should be seeing everything working correctly. If not, I'd start with a full system restart just to be safe. But since mine's working, I'll go ahead and hop into a world with some face-tracked avatars, and try one out. So here we've got a world with face-tracked avatars, so let's turn them on and try out Medium Weapons Guy. So first, we gotta go into the VRC face-tracking EXE, pull out our keyboard, press P to pause the tracking, switch into the avatar, go back into the executable, bring your keyboard back out, press P again to unpause it, and you should be seeing everything working. Now when you're looking at your avatar's face, you'll notice it's smooth and in sync with yours for the most part. Unfortunately, it'll look more like a slideshow to everyone else, since VRChat has yet to add any network prioritization or IK sync for face track parameters. One way to get around this for now is to use binary parameters, which allows smoothing in between state transitions. You basically need to use these anyways to fit the full set of face track parameters in, but they still lack the update rate and fidelity that you really need for a big portion of the face. And while they may sound difficult to add, there's already a tool that does all the hard work for you. But that's about all you need to know for trying out a face tracked avatar as of early March 2022. It's trickier to set one up from scratch, but there's a wiki and a readme on the VRC face tracking GitHub that go over all the face shapes and parameters to help get you started. I'll also be linking a Unity tutorial below for the basic setup, but once you set up one animation, the rest aren't really any harder. And, as long as you're using a normal humanoid rig, you should be able to drag and drop a universal eye tracking controller onto your additive layer to get surprisingly accurate results, which I can demonstrate with eye lasers. <laughs> 